This is my first morning of 3 a.m. feeds. It's now 20 past four because it's taken a while to find the horses. They finally arrived. I went down with the car. And of course, Arthur and Mick will be the slowest. I've got Arthur and Mick's behind him. Mick says, I'm trying to canter, but I'm too old. <laughs> but we're a bit spooky this morning, so I'll just be careful. So it is pretty cold. I've got the car lights helping me. I've got the big light on at the shed. Neighbours probably think I'm start raving mad, but that's okay. So, day one of feeding up. Arthur's waiting for his hard feed. I only did six hard feeds. Um, some of them were little. Shark is not impressed. But it, they've all got hay. There's no more hard feeds, darling. So uh, this will be the morning routine. And I'll be up and out here by quarter past three feeding horses. It's Mickey that needs the feed, guys. After the barking episode, everybody's pretty good but him. So he will need the extra feed, and I do this every year. So I've got two over there eating. I've got Lisa's two eating. And they've only got a semi, like a scoop of chaff and a scoop of biscuits. They're fine. But he needs feeding. So hopefully after uh, this morning, tomorrow morning, I expect them to be up here. I don't expect to have to go looking again. So we'll see how we go. By the time I've got the others up here, um, Hudson has finished eating because I gave Hudson extra food. It won't hurt Hudson. And then he's ready to go, and so's Edge. So I'm going to let those two out. Uh, I didn't separate Duke and um, Midgey. I'm just let them eat, put their bowls far enough apart. They'll work it out, they'll be fine. Oh, let's get Hudson out of here. Hey, Bobby, where are you backing up to? Yeah, you're gonna back up to mum. Okay, wait a minute, Bob. It's mummy. He, he's hard to sight, aren't you, darling? You're looking good. He's got a couple of itchy spots there, but he, he's just been bug on me, mum. You're right. Edge is looking good in this rug. Hudson's out. They're going to take off. Because <sighs> they're mad. They're all mad at this time in the morning. So. Oh, nose is running. It's freezing cold. <laughs> it's about six degrees, guys. Here they are. What are you doing? You're all good? You're all good. They're all pretty good. They're used to me doing this. Oh. So what is it? I'm late by about 10 or 15 minutes. That's okay, keep sharing and cover. All the horses yarded up this morning and they're being fed. Dogs think it's great, they're gonna get an extra walk because mum's gonna let horses out. Chance, don't do it. Oh yeah, wait there. So now I'll turn it off. Chance says I'm gonna pee mum. Hi guys. I don't know whether this works or not. Um, a little blue light solid. So we'll just go out here and we'll just have a look. The dogs and I are just walking out. Just got a little mic on. It arrived today. You want your toy? What's this? What's that? There you go. What you got, Black? You got nothing. Sorry. Apparently they both want the red one. What is legs in it? Oh, Chancy. Oh, you're a special boy. You really are a special boy. Hey, little man. You still got my leg caught, Faye. Hold your ground, Chance. Hold your ground. That's funny, eh? I don't even know whether you can see us over here. I, d I just, um, just wanted to test the mic, guys, to see if it worked. If it works, then that's fine. Well, that's, that's how it works. Okay. We're having a good old play there. Good puppies. I've got to get out and feed horses. I did them this morning, but I'm going to do it again. I'm just trying to feed Mick twice a day, so I'm hoping he comes up. 
Right, so maybe I could go around and talk and you could just watch the dogs. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to unload in the car. I do have a bag of horse feed to get out. You're still putting your foot through it. Jeez, I could just set the camera up, couldn't I? And just chat. I'm not going to turn it off. I don't know whether you've still got them though. They keep moving on you. Sorry. The little microphone I bought, I'm surprised it's here, is a Movo. So that's what I actually brought. So we'll see how it goes. There's two little um, wireless mini Geros there. What are you doing, Puppers? Not bases. I might go for a swim, Mum. Just moving it with the tripod. Mm. Is that all you needed to do to get hot? I'm still reading instructions, guys. Bye. What are you doing, Bob? Yes, she's, I've got a toy, Mum. i got a toy. No, sis, i got one too. Yes, she's, I like that, Mum. That's a good mummy doing that to me. Right, we'll just see what I cut out of this. Oh, you can see the poppers. Did you follow your mum? <gasps> Isaac Chancy cuddle time. Yeah, she's sitting in the chair, mum. And we can have Chancy cuddles. No, I can't because the phone's on the chair. What you doing, mum? No. The bay's down for, down for the count. Aren't you, baby? Have a look at you now, and you want to come inside? I think you've got Buckley's, my girl. Come on. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to set this up so you can see them. I'm a bit hands-free. Oh, look at that. She says, no one. Chancey says, oh, I'll take this one. Hey, oh, look. What he's doing? Can you see the water trough, guys? He's going for it. Maybe just a drink. Hoping you can see it. I can't see. Yep. You can see it. Chance he's having a drink in your water trough. What you doing? Oh, we've got a Kong ball. Oh, there's one over here. Come on, let's see if we can get it out. What you reckon? What do you reckon? Hey, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. You having a drink, Chance? She's been swimming in that. She's naughty. Chancey says, oh. I might be able to get it, Mum. I don't want to get in the trough. We're playing Apple Bob. <laughs> I says, oh, I got it. Let me get another one. Hurry. We're out of shot now, guys. Sorry, but I'll get them back in the shot. Look what Mum's got. See how good she is. Uh uh. What? Oh, missed. I'll go back for the other one. Oh my goodness. Dogs will be dogs. I knew I could get it, guys. <laughs> you got one each. I did it on the bounce. I can still throw things. He got one too. Let me throw it in the water trough. No. No. The other one's inside. I got a little noise cancellation. A bit of uh, foam on this one. There's Chancey being ever so cute. I love it when he does that because he just feels so secure. He wouldn't do that if he didn't feel secure. I know that. I've seen enough dogs to know that. 
It's like he's home. And he is. So it's been, ooh, six months and two weeks now since we got him. And it's been, ooh, nearly nine months since we got Navarra. So. What you doing, Bay Bay Bay? You're a good girl, aren't you? Your mum's little precious girl. Hey, Chancy Wancy, pudding pie. Hey, Chancy Wancy, she's going to get the ball, Bobby. Come on. No, she not, Mum. I got it. I got it. Have you got the ball, my baby boy? What you got, Vi? What you got? He's my tug toy, Mum. He's got tug toy. You got ball. Mum's got another one here. They did. Oh, guys, they did actually get a hole in this one. There was a hole in that one. No, oh, you just wagging your tail. You just wagging your tail because you're a good boy. Mummy's got. Hmm? Watch your ball. She'll take it. She'll take your ball, my son. So that's my little mic you can't see from over there. I know. Yeah, you keep chewing. I'll come and show you. It's called Movo. So let's hope it works. I may not have set it up right today, but I'm hoping that you are hearing something. See, put it on my pocket. So I'm going to turn this off now. Thanks, guys. How's that for a precious boy? Is he precious? He sure is, guys. He's very precious. They haven't had a decent run for a couple of days because the weekend was spent with horses. What you got? You're learning, Chansey boy. You've got it under your leg. Isn't that gorgeous? You are a gorgeous boy. What's this? <laughs> she says, no, Mum. You can't kick it. No, Mum. <laughs> Mummy tried. <coughs> Ooh. I tried, Bubby. You watch me doing everything, don't you, Chancy, eh? He's such a precious boy. So precious when you're wrapped up in blankets in the morning, aren't you? You don't want to get up. Mummy has to give you a hundred kisses to get you out of bed. That's funny. And he makes these funny little whiny noises at me, and it's so cute. I will video one day, but geez, guys, it's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It's my mum. And you two are just happy chewing the same toy. Did you get something off that then? No, that's a bit of the frisbee that you destroyed one day. Are you getting it too, Bubby? Well, you just got some ants. Can't see the ants. You said I might want that toy, mum. Mm, it's always the way, isn't it, baby? These Kong balls have done so well. Haven't they, darling? She's only just managed to put a hole in that one. But seriously, we will buy these again. I, I swear that this is what's keeping the dog's teeth clean because they've got little ladders on them. So when they chew them, they're actually cleaning their teeth. So... If you have some heavy chewers at home, you try these little blue and green Kong balls. I've seen the bones too. They do a bone and I wondered whether that'd be as good. You want to be with your mum? Your mum. Haven't had enough cuddles. Haven't had enough cuddles, have you? What's that, mum? Hey? You're sniffing the microphone. You don't wear that normally, mum. Hey? They don't see this smoffin, do they? Hey? They don't see your kisses and cuddles, do they? Come on. What do you want to treat? I said, yeah, Mum. I'm up for the food thing. <laughs> You're getting a bit hot. Do you want me to open the door so you can have a drink? Yeah. We had enough outside. Well, guys, I think my kids have had enough for a bit. So we're just going to sit inside for five and then feed up.